No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. Fuck these racist ass police. No peace. Thank you for being here, because this means a lot, not only for the people of Lansing, but also for the family that is also here. Most importantly, I really want to say is, we can't really allow this to happen. This has been going on for so long, but not only for so long, it's been going on nonstop. We won't change. In order to make that change, we got to force that change. Just like they forced us to make a change and expect us to keep that change. We need to do things that other people is afraid to do if we want to actually be free. Anthony Hulan died a month before George Floyd. Andy Shore walked with this community. He took a knee with this community knowing that a, that a man had died inside that city jail. He did not tell us. He did not tell the city council. He did not even give any answers to his family, to Anthony Hulan's family. They had to get a lawyer in order to get answers. Now, I am running for Lansing mayor, but to, today I'm not here as a candidate. Today, 
I am here as a black man. Today, I am here as a concerned citizen. You know, Dr. King said, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. And that's why, that's why we're all out here, because we know that what happened here can happen in Grand Rapids, it can happen in Detroit, it can happen, it can happen in Jackson. And we got to make sure that this is the end. We got to put an end to this. And I will hold those responsible for his death accountable. I will fire them and hold them accountable. Thank you. Y'all can clearly see that this is no longer a race thing anymore. This is a power trip that they cannot get over. They just need to do it. Because as we know, our fellow comrade that has fallen was Anthony. Anthony was a white person. And they still just act like it was not nothing. Like it was a, just another piece of meat. So everybody that think that they're just safe because of the color of their skin, that is no longer the case anymore. So basically what everybody was saying, you see how our cops just hid this for such a long time, knowing that the family was looking for him and they just act like they didn't know. How many more other people have they done this to? And we wouldn't even know about it because they don't say anything about it. Say his name! Anthony Ruas! Say his name! Anthony Ruas! Say his name! Anthony Ruas! No peace! No justice! No peace! We, it is our constitutional obligation to overthrow any government, any government, our government, if it is going against our constitutional right. It says it on the Constitution. It is our constitutional obligation to overthrow if it is not serving us. Is it serving us? I'm gonna ask again, is it serving us? No! The very reason why we're out here is because they abuse their power. They abused that, the, the very oath that they took to come out of you. <laughs> Just for yours, but for your brothers, for your sisters, for your cousins, your cousins' cousins. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to further, like, Poor they're going through it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. To then ask them to get yeah. involved in this weird shit. So, that, that's my statement. Joe, I'm not going to talk to the family because they're already going through this. No, if then the ask them to get involved in this. If the family wants to, absolutely. But not, not force it upon them. I tried. I'm usually more successful at these things. Yeah. Sometimes it's just cloud politics. That's what it is. Hey, uh, can I kind of ask what's going on? Why, are, why is this like this? Polit politics. That's the blunt way to put it. How are you? Sorry. Sorry. Good. It's good to see you again. Good to, good to see you again. Nothing. We're just here to support. Yep. That's the answer. Support. It's the only answer you're gonna get. I am! I am! I am! I am! A revolutionary! A revolutionary! A revolutionary! Thank you. This right here is a start. Um, so this is, this is, this is, I just, it's beyond words how, how appreciated this is and, and how much this means. Um, I'm gonna keep fighting, fighting for my brother, fighting for everyone else. There are so many families. How many haven't been seen? How many, how many aren't on film? It's, there's a lot, a lot more than you would think. This happens all too often. We need to make this not common. We need to not be immune to this. Um, this needs to be something that we just isn't brushed off as another hashtag. We don't want anyone else to be another hashtag.
I don't want my brother to be a hashtag. So with the community and, and all of us working together, together we rise, together we change. Thank you everybody for coming out. I appreciate you, we love you, thank you. Anthony Hulon was loved by his family. He was loved by his friends. And he should be home with them right now. Their family should not have to come all the way to Michigan to fight for their brother. So I need everybody that is here, everybody that is standing with the Hulon family, I need y'all to hear me and repeat after me because this is why we're here. No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! It's, it's all of us, you know, it, it affects everyone, it affects all of us. Um, and even that, that's been tremendous. Like, that's, that's I, I guess I can't even put into words how much I appreciate everybody coming out for us. And all the different groups coming together, you know, just for the same, um, same cause. You know. Well, for us, I mean, now they said that they're not pressing charges. That's what we wanted, was charges pressed. But we at least want these officers off the streets. We want, um, you know, we don't want this to happen to somebody else. <clears throat> they still shouldn't be working. Um, that's what we're looking for. And how do you change kind of things for the future? Right? So, I mean, of course, that's those particular officers. And how do you prevent them from uh, situation? That's, yeah, with that, I mean, I'm all about, um, you know, with uh, qualified immunity is where it needs to change. That That's where it needs to start, is how I see it. Because, um, you know, if there's no consequence for something that you do, then you're just gonna keep doing it. But if there's a consequence, which, you know, you take away qualified immunity and then they're held liable for what they have done and then they go to jail and they're gonna stop doing that. Um, retraining. I don't think is really the answer. I mean, yes, they need to be trained better, but they've been trained. I mean, that's their job. Um, so I don't really think that's the answer. I think it really lies in, in the change in the laws, you know, with qualified immunity. But to do that, it takes everybody to go out and vote. You know, everybody has to come together. Everybody has to vote for that. So 